uh now let's create a new one mm, again uh, remember we have already uh done this to find the factorial of a number okay so uh, basically the difference between then and now is only that we are uh, we are going to create a user defined function and as 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 uh, i have already mentioned the biggest advantage of uh, using functions uh, is, you know even uh, user defined functions is that it's a one time activity and uh, you can uh, reuse this these user defined functions across uh, various programs okay to find the factorial now void main int factorial int so uh, this is the prototype factorial is the function name it is going to accept a int type of variable and uh, it is going to return a another int okay now this is the prototype now let's declare the variables so n and fact n is the number uh, so n factorial uh, uh, the result of n factorial is going to be stored in fact okay so clear screen prompt so c out enter the uh, enter a non negative number okay so it should be a non negative number okay c in n fact is equal to factorial and n okay uh, now output has come so we need to display the result so c out n and then the symbol for factorial okay so exclamation mark and equal to n factorial is equal to what fact and end line okay so this is the main function now the actual function to calculate the factorial so int factorial right and int n now remember the uh, here if we are using uh, n as a variable it need not be the same here here it could be a different uh, variable name so we could have say num right so it, it really uh, doesn't uh, matter okay the only thing is the data type and the number of uh, parameters has to match so int f so f is equal to 1 so for int i is equal to 1 now remember factorial uh, if you don't remember let's just very quickly 3 4 factorial is equal to what 4 into 3 into 2 into 1 right so 5 factorial 5 into 4 into 3 into 2 into 1 so we need to start from 1 to uh, whatever is the number for which we need to um we need to calculate the factorial okay so now uh, i less than or equal to num and then i plus plus okay and then f is equal to f into i right and that's all return f okay return f now in the previous uh, program we created a user defined function for finding out the biggest of three numbers now we are creating a user defined function for calculating the factorial what we can do is take out all these user defined functions put it in a separate file 
right so that becomes a library of um, user defined functions or in simple terms it becomes a library of functions that's how the uh, you know um, inbuilt uh, library functions have been created okay now let's run this okay there's some problems function clear should have a prototype okay now hash includes we have not included uh, hash include io stream dot h hash include conio dot h now let's run this great let's say 4 4 is a 12 to the 24 great let's run it again 2 okay uh, run 1 1 factorial is 1 now here comes the tricky part let's say 0 0 factorial is equal to 1 right now this is very very important you know you need to be um, very clear about especially in maths um, 0 factorial is treated as 1 1 factorial is also 1 uh, okay so one last run of 5 factorial is 120 right so if you noticed i said uh, 5 5 factorial right here it is going to ignore that special character mainly because uh, the data type is in so it is just going to take the numbers okay now what happens if i enter a negative number right so negative 3 factor equal to 1 so ideally uh, you know um, uh, it should uh, not be accepted at all so what we need to do is we need to make sure that the va value that has been entered is uh, valid so if n greater than or equal to 0 <coughs> then only the rest of the thing should happen right okay and else uh, we should display a message see out okay mm, the number entered should be uh, a positive number okay uh, and see out oh, okay see out there this is not required because get ch is in in any case there now this for this there are two statements so this has to be okay now five four twenty four great now let's say minus three the number entered should be a positive number okay so let's save this and uh, let's store it as factorial okay and quit